Hello students, welcome back. In today's video, I have not taken up any single question, but four questions from the chapter Magnetic Effect of Current. So, when it comes to finding out the force acting on a particle, students find it's difficult to identify the direction in which the force will act on the particle or the conductor. So, today I have compiled four questions from the same topic, which are from your textbook as well as from the previous year board exams. So, I am sure that after watching these four examples, all your doubts will be cleared and you will be able to solve these type of questions very easily. So, let's start with the first question. The first question is, an electron enters a magnetic field at right angles to it as shown in the figure. The direction of force acting on the electron will be to the right, left, out of the page or into the page. Alright, so as we know, Fleming's left hand rule states that if we stretch the forefinger, the middle finger and the thumb of our left hand such that they are mutually perpendicular to each other, then if the forefinger represents the direction of magnetic field, the middle finger represents the direction of current, then the direction in which the force will act will be represented by the direction of the thumb. So, with this knowledge, let us solve all these four questions. In this question, we have been given a magnetic field which is going from left to right as you can see here. Now, an electron is coming in the downward direction. Now, we know an electron is a charged particle and it carries a negative charge. So, a negatively charged particle is coming downwards. So, the electron is moving downwards and the magnetic field is moving to the right. So, they are mutually perpendicular to each other. Now, we will align the three fingers of our left hand in accordance with Fleming's left hand rule. Now, before we align our fingers, one thing you should remember which is very important over here is the direction of current. Now, electrons carry a negative charge and the current which is flowing due to the flow of electrons is known as the electronic current. So, this electronic current is the current which is due to the flow of the electrons and it flows in a direction opposite to that of the conventional current or the current which is due to the flow of the positive charges. So, the current which flows due to the flow of the positive charges is known as the conventional current. Now, in these type of questions, we will not consider the electronic current, but rather the conventional current. That is, the current direction will be considered as the direction in which the positive charges are moving. Now, since in this question, the electrons are moving downwards, we know that the direction of the movement of the electrons is opposite to that of the direction in which the positive charges move. Right? So, if the electrons or if the negatively charged particles are moving downwards, then the positively charged particles must be moving upwards. Right? So, since the positively charged particles are moving upwards, the current direction in this case will be considered as flowing in the upward direction. So, in this case, the current direction will be upwards. That is, the middle finger which will represent the current direction will be pointing upward and not downward. This thing you should remember that we will not consider the direction in which the movement of the electron is shown in the figure. Rather, we will point our finger in the direction in which the positive charges will be moving. And in this case, it is opposite to that in which the electrons are moving. So, the direction of current will be upwards. So, now let us realign our fingers in accordance to this question. So, here you see the magnetic field direction is from left to right. So, we have pointed our forefinger to the right. Alright, so this is the direction in which the magnetic field is acting. Now, the current will be shown by the direction of the motion of the positive charges. Now, in this case, it's upward. So, I have pointed my middle finger upward representing the direction of current. Now, as you can see in this image, my thumb is pointing inwards or it is pointing away from my body. So, the force acting on the electron will be into the page. So, this is the direction in which the force will act on the electron. Alright, so I hope you have understood this. Let's go to the next question. So, the next question says a positron enters a uniform magnetic field at right angles to it as shown. The direction of force experienced by the positron will be to the right, left, into the page and out of the page. So, in this question, the particle given is a positron. Now, we know that a positron is a positively charged particle. So, this makes our question very easy because magnetic field direction is given to the right. 
द पॉजिट्रॉन और द पॉजिटिवली चार्ज पार्टिकल इज मूविंग अपवर्ड्स सो द करेंट डिरेक्शन विल बी अपवर्ड्स इन दिस केस एज आई टोल्ड यू द करेंट डिरेक्शन विल बी द डिरेक्शन इन विच द पॉजिटिव चार्जेस विल बी मूविंग सो हियर पॉजिटिव चार्जेस डिरेक्शन इज गिवन अपवर्ड्स सो simply we have to point our middle finger upward so as to represent the direction of the current so now let's realign our fingers and see in which direction will the force act on this positron so now as you can see the magnetic field is going from left to the right the positron or the positively charged particle is going upwards so our middle finger will be pointing upwards because that is the direction in which positive charges move representing the direction of the conventional current so this is the direction in which the current is flowing and here also we can see that the thumb is pointing again into the page so the positron in this case also will be pushed into the page that is away from our body i hope you are clear with the second answer also let's go over to the third question a beta particle enters a magnetic field at right angles to it as shown in the figure the direction of force acting on the beta particle will be to the right left out of the page into the page so here we have a beta particle which is moving upwards and the beta particle is moving in a direction perpendicular to the magnetic field the magnetic field is going from left to right the beta particle which is a negatively charged particle it's going from bottom to top so let's find out in which direction will be the beta particle pushed now here the beta particle is a negatively charged particle since it's mentioned over here that the beta particle is going upwards and as i have already said you we have to point our middle finger in the direction in which a positively charged particle will be moving here since the beta particle is moving upwards the current which is due to the flow of the positive charges will be moving downwards so in this question the current direction is downwards the magnetic field is from the left to the right so let's realign our fingers again so as you can see in this image the four finger representing the magnetic field is pointing to the right so this is the direction of the magnetic field if the negatively charged beta particle is going upward it means that the positively charged particle in this case will be moving downwards so since the positively charged particle is moving downwards we have to point our middle finger in the downward direction representing the direction of the conventional current now you see the thumb is pointing outwards all right that is out of the page so the thumb is pointing towards us so it's out of the page so the beta particle which is a negatively charged particle in this case it will be pushed out of the page so i hope now you are getting clear with this type of questions let's solve the last one the last question is a little different it does not ask us to find out the direction of the force acting but rather the direction in which the magnetic field will be acting a positively charged particle that is the alpha particle projected towards the west is deflected towards the north by a magnetic field the direction of magnetic field is towards south east downwards or upwards so here you see it's given that there is a positively charged particle which is an alpha particle it is moving towards the west so an alpha particle was initially moving towards the western direction but under the action of a magnetic field positively charged alpha particle got deflected towards the north it means that if the positively charged particle that is the alpha particle is moving towards west that means the current direction in this case is towards the west and since the alpha particle got deflected towards the north that means this is the direction in which the force acted on the alpha particle which made it to move in the northern direction so we have to find out the direction of the magnetic field so it's very important students for you to be able to realign your fingers in accordance to the question which is asked obeying fleming's left hand rule so let us realign our fingers in accordance to fleming's left hand rule satisfying this question so in this question you see that the alpha particle is moving towards the west so i have pointed my middle finger to the left side which is the west direction to represent the direction of the current that is due to the movement of the alpha particle which is a positively charged particle now you see here the force is acting upwards towards the north so this is the north side 
so i have pointed my thumb in the upward direction now you see these two are mutually perpendicular to each other in accordance to fleming's left hand rule now if you observe this image you see that the four finger representing the direction of magnetic field is pointing upwards so the magnetic field in this case will be in the upward direction which is option number 4 so this is the answer to this question so now i hope you have understood how to solve these type of questions two things which you need to keep in mind while solving these type of questions are you should know how to realign your fingers keeping them mutually perpendicular to each other in accordance to fleming's left hand rule as per the question so always remember to keep your fingers straight and mutually perpendicular to each other secondly you must be able to point your middle finger in the direction of current which is due to the flow of the positive charges this is the most important criteria you have to note down which particle is given in the question if it's a positively charged particle simply point your middle finger in that direction if it's a negatively charged particle then point your middle finger in the direction opposite to the direction in which the negatively charged particle is flowing to represent the direction of the current so if you remember these two things then you will be able to solve any type of questions related to the force acting on a current carrying conductor or a particle very easily that's all for in this video if you have any questions regarding this please feel free to ask me in the comment box thanks for watching bye bye